The term, harem, typically refers to the private quarters of a household where women and children are kept separate from men. In the context of ancient Egypt, the term, harem, is often used to refer to the group of women who lived in the royal palace and were the wives, concubines, and servants of the pharaohs. It is known that the pharaohs of ancient Egypt had multiple wives and concubines, who were often selected for their beauty, intelligence, and social status. These women would live in the harem quarters of the royal palace and were responsible for carrying out various duties, such as cooking, cleaning, and caring for the pharaoh's children. It is also worth noting that the pharaohs of ancient Egypt were considered to be divine kings, and their wives and concubines were seen as important symbols of their power and status. As such, the harem was often a highly regulated and controlled environment, with strict rules governing the behavior and interactions of the women who lived there. While the exact details of the harem of the pharaohs are not fully known, it is clear that these women played an important role in the royal court and were a significant part of the pharaoh's household. The reproductive role of the women in the harem of the pharaohs was of utmost importance, as it was their primary duty to produce heirs for the pharaoh. This was seen as crucial for the continuation of the pharaonic dynasty and the stability of the kingdom. In order to ensure the successful production of heirs, pharaohs often had multiple wives and concubines, and would choose women who were believed to be fertile and able to bear children. These women would then be housed in the harem and given access to the best medical care and nutrition available in order to ensure their health and well-being, and thereby increase the chances of successful pregnancy and childbirth. When a woman in the harem became pregnant, she would be carefully monitored and cared for by a team of midwives and physicians. The pharaoh would often take a personal interest in the pregnancy and would visit the mother to be regularly to check on her progress and offer support. Once the child was born, it would be raised within the harem by a team of nurses and attendants, who would ensure that it received the best possible care and education. Sons of the pharaoh were considered to be particularly important, as they would be trained to become future rulers themselves, and were therefore given the best education and training available. Daughters of the pharaoh were also important, as they could be married off to other rulers or members of the royal court in order to cement political alliances and maintain the stability of the kingdom. As such, they too were given a good education and were trained in various skills, such as music, dance, and etiquette, in order to prepare them for their future roles as wives and mothers. Overall, the reproductive role of the women in the harem of the pharaohs was crucial for the stability and continuity of the pharaonic dynasty. While the lives of these women were highly regulated and controlled, their role in producing heirs and raising future rulers was seen as essential for the success of the kingdom. The process of choosing women to include in the harem of the pharaohs was complex and could vary depending on the pharaoh and the time period. However, there were certain factors that were considered desirable in a harem candidate, including beauty, intelligence, social status, and fertility. In some cases, women were chosen to enter the harem based on their family connections. For example, the daughter of a powerful noble or official might be chosen to become a wife or concubine of the pharaoh in order to cement political alliances and maintain the loyalty of powerful families. In other cases, women were selected for their beauty and physical attractiveness. The pharaoh would often hold beauty contests or receive recommendations from his advisors in order to identify the most beautiful women in the kingdom. These women would then be invited to join the harem and would undergo a period of grooming and preparation in order to be presented to the pharaoh. Once a woman was selected to enter the harem, she would be given a new name and identity, and would be trained in the customs and etiquette of the royal court. She would also be given access to the best medical care and nutrition in order to ensure her health and well-being, and thereby increase the chances of successful pregnancy and childbirth. It is worth noting that while the women in the harem of the pharaohs were often seen as objects of desire and beauty, they also had agency and were able to exercise power and influence within the harem and the wider court. Some women were able to rise to positions of significant political and religious authority, and were able to use their position to promote their own interests and those of their families. Here are a few more examples of women who held political power in the harem of the pharaohs. 1. Hatshepsut. Hatshepsut was one of the most powerful and successful pharaohs of ancient Egypt, and she also served as a regent for her stepson, Thutmose III. While she was not a member of the harem herself, she did have several women in her court who served as advisors and confidants, including her daughter Neferer and her nurse Siderin. 2. Nefertiti. Nefertiti was the wife of the pharaoh Akhenaten and played an important role in his religious and political reforms. She is often depicted in art and sculpture alongside the pharaoh, suggesting that she held significant influence and power in the royal court. 3. 
Tiy. Tiy was the wife of Amenhotep III and the mother of Akhenaten. She was highly respected and influential during her husband's reign, and was known for her intelligence and political skills. She is believed to have played a significant role in the diplomatic and trade relations between Egypt and other kingdoms. 4. Cleopatra VII. Cleopatra was the last pharaoh of ancient Egypt and is perhaps one of the most famous and influential women in history. She was a skilled politician and diplomat, and was known for her charm and intelligence. She was able to negotiate alliances with powerful men such as Julius Caesar and Mark Antony, and was able to maintain her power and influence even in the face of Roman conquest. Overall, these women demonstrate that while the harem of the pharaohs was a highly regulated and controlled environment, some women were able to rise to positions of significant political power and influence.